Good morning, Maya Bay Arbeck. Here's the plan. I think something new on ceilings might be quite exciting if it actually happens. More on the perimeter wall and the barbed wire, razor wire, commando wire, if that's what the builder did call it. Still no tiles for the pool. Some more of the old ceiling stuff going on and I'm guessing some more skim coating. What could possibly go wrong? I've just had a very long session with the engineer this morning talking about the kitchen island. I think it's the third time we've sat and discussed dimensions for all of this. Hopefully, it was the last time. I do, however, still have to probably run into town today to try and figure out the size of gas ranges because it will have an impact on the final surface and the areas of the final top surface. It's a bit complicated. You'll see it when it happens. We've got Oliver and Quiet Marvin working in the lower pantry. Sorry, it's going to get noisy. So, I imagine this will probably get very close to being finished today. It's not going to be long before we lose quiet Marvin. We've got almost a month. Wish him luck. He's off to get married. I posed the question at the close of business yesterday about whether this ceiling frame for the laundry room was finished. It is, because it's quite narrow. The engineer says they do not need as many pieces of metal support, particularly running away from where we're standing. So apparently, this is enough, it's done. And this one in the helper's room is also done. Here's a rather large clue as to what the potential new thing is on ceilings. Platforms going up underneath the front door canopy. This is what should be getting some attention today, I'm told. This is the bedroom at the front of the house, in the middle, and they got Mr. Jesse and Elson working out, uh, helping him out. And Jesse was just telling me in this room, we'll have pin lights, strip lights, tube lights, and a center light. And he's just describing some of the wiring for us as well. That's going to be a lot of lighting. And I think that's where we go to soil. Neutral ground and neutral line is smart and neutral ground to soil. So it's just to re-emphasize there will be grounding rods to try and eliminate some of the risk of electrical problems in the house. This is the room at the back of the house. Uh, and I did wonder yesterday who had done all this skin coating and apparently it was Ronel as well. He did the other room with that small little area that isn't quite finished for some reason. But he's now already within an hour and a half got a lot more of this bedroom skin coated. Oh, and I've just reminded him about that little gap. I think he just forgot. He's gone back to fill it in now. Here on the balcony for the master bedroom, we've got O'Donnell and original Rico starting to get a ceiling frame for here. And a quick shout out for Mrs. O'Donnell, who apparently quite likes it when his name is mentioned. So, to Ariane. Hi there, how you doing? The barbed wire crew, razor wire crew, any other name you care to mention, have made a lot of progress. Now, to be honest, it is almost 10 o'clock and I did film this earlier and it all went wonky, but they have now got three wires running right from back where we started, right up at that corner. All the way, take your dizzy pills, all the way down to here. So, 
I tell you, we're, I think they might be finished on this south wall today. They're pretty quick. There were at least a couple, maybe three comments about CCTV and uh, Casa Texpina was one, but I think there were two or three others and I'll, I'll put the names up. Yes, absolutely, 100%, we will have CCTV. In fact, uh, I've been talking to a particular manufacturer. It, it may be one of the small benefits of doing this whole YouTube thing in that um, it allows me to have the opportunity to maybe do a deal with some of these suppliers uh, because if I talk about their products, then they might be prepared to do something on the price. And this particular one has done something on the price. Um, been talking to them for a while and it's included a little bit of technical support as well. I have to say their, their support so far has been very good. I'm, I'm not going to name the name just yet. I'll wait until the final contract is signed. But uh, they have been good at, at support so far. Now, we'll do various videos about the cameras. They have no right to edit or tell me what to say. Um, everything I tell you will be my views, but I can tell you I have watched hours and hours and hours and hours of video on YouTube about different security cameras, about manufacturers. And the particular manufacturer I'm gonna go with pretty much universally gets very good reviews um, for the quality and the value of the cameras. There are said to be one or two small downsides with this particular brand, but we'll cover all of that once they come. Um, we will show various stages of that installation process. For obvious reasons, I'm not gonna show you where all of them are. I'll give you some idea about where a few of them are, and I'll tell you why there are cameras where there are. But that deal looks like it's about to get done. We will also, as also suggested by Casa Texpina, and again one or two others I think, be putting in solar lighting uh, in various points around the property. Well, we're here in Savers Appliances in Balabargo on the edge of Angeles City. I'm looking for a range and I think maybe the first one I've looked at is about as good as I'm going to get. But I'm being helped by John and Ardy, who's just disappeared for a moment. He's coming back, checking the price. It looks like I can't find a six burner, but this is a pretty good size five burner and it is Elba, so it kind of matches everything else we got. So let's see what they say about the price. I just got back. The range is not final, but I pretty much know which one I'm going to get. Uh, we'll start kind of where we left it, and that's with this uh, razor wire, barbed wire. They disappeared. They've still got, oh, I don't know, 30 meters, 40 meters maybe to go on this south wall. But they've all disappeared somewhere else. Now, it may be that because it is a blistering day today, they've been told to go and do something in a cooler area. That would make complete sense. Here we are, the beginning of the underside of this canopy. So we've got new Rico and Erwin and new Richard all working on this. So we are using, for most of it, the same soffit material that's been used everywhere else. But that's not all it will be stick around I guess probably not today but coming soon to a YouTube video near you you will see what else they're gonna do with this but it looks like they've got a lot of the frame already done Oliver and quiet Marvin I guess they're finished in the pantry because they're now in the main kitchen I'm gonna start on the ceiling frame for this room not much done yet, but give them a break. I haven't had that long to play around with it. Here we are on the master bedroom balcony. 
And here again, we're starting to get those soffits going in. They're quite a long way. They've done a, all the frame and they're on piece number one, two, three, four, five, six of the soffit material. It's a bit dark, but we've got trainee electrician, Elson, helping out Jesse Bamber with more wiring. Front bedroom, skim coat. The bit that I think Ronell forgot, now done. This is the bedroom opposite, so it's the back of the house on the northwest corner. He's got all this one finished as well, and he's already now working inside the walk-in closet for this bedroom. The bell is gone, 4.30. Here we are at the front door canopy. And you start to see how there is going to be some contrast where the light fixtures are going to be. And in fact, I think that may not be the final finish. Uh, I was told this morning that those areas will actually be black, which I think would look terrific. I think it'll look good as it is, but I think black would even stand out better as a contrast. Inside the house, starting in the kitchen, the ceiling frame made quite a bit of progress and there is a ton of platform, stroke, scaffolding, call it what you like, all in place so that they can get to all areas of this ceiling. I think Ronell has been taking something. He's going like a demon with this skim coat. He is finished all inside here in the walk-in closet for the bedroom at the back of the house. And I think he's done more than this. He has. This is the bedroom at the front of the house in the middle. And he's got oh, 50 plus percent of that front wall done and a little tiny bit over here. The bell has gone, but I've got Oliver behind me and just till a second ago, there were some feet in front of me and I have no idea who they belong to. But I can only assume this is continuing with soffits around the main roof. I keep telling Manny to go home and he's not listening. He's looking better than he did this morning, but he still clearly has very limited energy. He'd be better off going and getting a longer night's sleep, I think, but hey, what can I say? This is the other big and obvious thing that can be seen uh, that they've been working on today, the ceiling for the balcony in the master bedroom. So they put those initial pieces of soffit in place and now they put some edging around it, which again seems to suggest there might be a second form of covering that they're planning to put around the outside of those chocolate brown soffits. We'll have to wait and see. That is the end of the day. And I feel like I've got to finish here because this is what's making the biggest, most visible difference. And it's looking terrific so far. Uh, when it's done, wow, I can't wait. So that's it. A lot more on ceilings, a little bit of a waffle on from me about security and cameras. Uh, a lot more electrical. Again, it's just every single day. Jesse is doing something with wiring in the house. And Ronell on pills whizzing around the house with skim coat. So it's been a real build delicious day for me today. That's a, that's a cracking day when we start to see something like this new ceiling area. Oh, it just, just makes my day. Let's see if they can make my day tomorrow. I'm sure they can one way or another. See you then.